If your bird is displaying aggressive behavior or biting you, then this video is for you. Birds are not mean. There are no such thing as mean birds. And birds in the wild do not bite each other when they are fighting. So biting as a form of attack is a response to external factors and not inherent aggressiveness. But there's good news. The good news is that these issues can be resolved with consistency, training, and spending time with your bird. So in this video, I'm going to go over aggressive behaviors, why they happen, and how we can fix them. <music> Welcome back my poodle and parrot pals and if you're new here, welcome. If you're a dog or parrot lover, you've come to the perfect place where I share lots of parrot tips, dog tricks, and dang, a lot of cuteness. Biting is one of the most common undesirable behaviors that pet owners experience with their birds. Another one is screaming and although healthy birds do scream and make a lot of noise, if your bird is screaming excessively, then it could be a result of boredom, stress, or depression. And then there's destructive behavior. And destructive behavior in parrots is often a sign that a bird either has a problem with his or her environment or isn't receiving enough mental stimulation to keep its mind occupied. Birds are highly intelligent and they need lots of mental stimulation and activity to keep them healthy and happy. So why do birds bite and become aggressive? Well, biting is actually a natural defense mechanism ingrained into parrots. So there are a lot of reasons why your bird might be biting. So I'm going to quickly try to run over all of these reasons. So the first reason is fear. Fear can develop in pet birds for different reasons. And sometimes a factor that comes into play is that they were not hand fed when they were young. So they did not develop a trust with humans or a lack of proper socialization may lead a bird to become afraid of humans, other birds or new experiences. Parrots can also become scared of loud noises or quick movements that will cause them to react by biting. One is possessiveness. And this is when parrots become jealous of their owners or their chosen person. Some birds can get really jealous when their owner interacts with other people or other animals. Birds are possessive of their mates and will attack anyone they perceive to be a threat to their mates. And so domestic birds do the same thing with their owners. Another reason that your bird might be biting is because of trauma. If you adopted a bird or you re homed an older bird, then they might have previous trauma and may have been mistreated or neglected by their previous owner. Abandonment is one of the leading causes of trauma in parrots. Parrots are very intelligent and form tight bonds with those who show them love and care. Being handed down from owner to owner and losing contact with the people they care about can be very traumatic for our birdies. Birds can also become a lot more aggressive and start to bite when they're going through hormonal changes or during the hormonal seasons, which is usually spring and fall. Another reason that birds bite is they become territorial, whether it's of their cage or their food bowls. They will protect their claimed territory by acting in an aggressive way. The next one is stress. Birds can become stressed. Because of parrots' well-developed brains, emotional sensitivity, and social awareness, they can get stressed out, and stress will cause them to act aggressively. Parrots don't know how to deal with the tension, and they lash out. When alone, parrots will direct that frustration towards themselves and self-mutilate. Birds that are stressed or lack mental stimulation may act out by biting and displaying aggressive behavior. Another one is change. Parrots don't always do well with change. Change of owner, change of an environment, change of the location of where their cage used to be. Change can upset or annoy our birds. In cases of poorly socialized or abused birds, biting is self-defense. They are just trying to protect themselves. They may have learned that hands are something to be scared of. Maybe they were hit or people waved their hands in a threatening manner at them or used their hands to toss things towards them. And they've now associated hands and fingers as something that they need to defend themselves against. 
Two easier reasons why your bird might be biting is they might be tired and they didn't get enough sleep or they're not sleeping enough. Parrots need 10 to 12 hours of dark, quiet, uninterrupted time for sleeping. Otherwise, if they're tired, they might be grumpy and cranky. Or if your bird is hungry, they might become nippy. Just like us, they can get hangry and cranky when they want to eat. Which brings me to the next point, and that is an unbalanced diet. A lot of behavioral issues stem from diet. So diet is always the first place to look at. If your bird is eating a seed diet or a commercial food diet, then it's time to think about switching your bird to a whole food based diet with a healthy chop filled with veggies, legumes, grains, the occasional fruit, and using seeds and nuts only as treats. A surprising number of behavioral issue problems can be traced back to an unbalanced diet. Lack of energy, irritableness, difficulty molting, as well as multiple other issues that can lead to your bird feeling unwell and grumpy may be due to nutritional lack. Transitioning your bird away from seeds and treats to a balanced nutritious diet can be the solution. I have a video on over a dozen ways to get your bird to eat veggies and I have a playlist on parrot's diet including how to make a healthy chop. The next one is energy. Parrots are very energetic and active so if they are lacking the exercise and activity that they need on a daily basis then that can result in aggressive behavior. Conyers, for example, need lots of physical activity or their little dinosaurs will come out. Another reason that a parrot might be biting is because of illness or injury. So it's really important to make sure that you rule this one out. If your bird is not feeling well, he or she may not want to be handled or interacted with. If you try to get them out and handle them anyway, they may express discomfort and irritation by biting you. A normally friendly bird who is avoiding contact may be ill and you should take them to see your avian vet. And finally, there is play biting. Just like an indulged two year old, they can become frustrated if they don't get enough attention and may resort to biting to get some attention from you. Parrots are very social and look to their owners as flock members. If they do not receive enough positive attention from you, they may try to get your intention in other ways, such as biting. The most important element of understanding aggressive behavior and biting in birds is understanding why it started happening and continues to happen and finding ways to eliminate that. So now to the good stuff, how to stop aggressive behavior and biting. So you're going to need to set aside some time each day to work with your bird, bond with your bird, and train with your bird. My first tip is to move to a neutral location with your bird. Move to a neutral location during training sessions by removing your bird from its territory. This can make it more willing to cooperate and prevent any territorial aggression. Next, do not force your bird to interact with you or force contact. Taking it slow and easy is the better method. Don't try to force contact. Try to leave it up to your bird to decide when it's comfortable enough to step up or accept a treat or interact with you. Leave the choice to your bird. Avoid yelling, and this is a big one. I know that sometimes when your bird bites you, you instinctively scream or yell. Raising your voice, will not make your bird understand that it has done something wrong. In fact, it's more likely to reinforce your bird's bad behavior as it will love getting such a big reaction out of you. Whatever happens, avoid the temptation to yell. You always wanna to talk to your bird in a soft and gentle way. Right? Who's a good bird? Who's a good birdie? Next is tree. Treats are going to be your best friend when it comes to training your bird and working and bonding with your bird. And birds love treats. I mean, who doesn't? Using treats and praise will help your pet be more willing to interact with you and it's much more effective than discipline. If every interaction with your bird resolves in a positive experience, it will likely become more comfortable and open to a closer relationship with you. 
repetition and consistency. So you need to work with your bird on bonding and training on a regular basis. With birds, repetition and consistency are keys to training. Make time to work with your bird every day. Keep in mind that it sometimes takes a while to build up trust, so do not give up. Which brings me to my next point, which is when training and working with your bird, do not overwork your bird. Keep training sessions in the beginning short and work up to longer periods where your bird wants to train. Birds are intelligent and sensitive and they need to have some fun in order to maintain their mental health and keep them from becoming stressed. If you notice that your bird no longer wants to continue training, then they're starting to lose interest. If your bird is really jealous and possessive, then you're going to need to work on socializing your bird. So you want to collect a list of friends and family who are willing to come help out and come over to help socialize with your bird. The goal is to better socialize your bird and show it that these people are not a threat to the relationship that it has with you. So try various confidence building exercise with other people and stay nearby to show your approval. You might, for instance, have visitors offer your bird a treat whenever they enter the house to reinforce good behavior. They should also praise the bird in a happy, upbeat voice while making eye contact. It's wise to do this with one person at a time, and this ensures that your parrot doesn't feel crowded or overwhelmed. If your bird is biting you every time you're trying to put it in the cage, then you need to turn the act of putting the bird back in their cage something fun and positive. So you could do this by providing their favorite foods in the cage, by putting a treat in their cage. The next one is when it comes to our hands. So if your bird is associating hands as something that they need to defend themselves against, then this is something that we need to work on. The trick is to teach them that hands are something good, only to be used for preening them, holding them, and giving them treats and lots of love. Never ever use your hands in a negative context. Always approach your pet with your hands slowly in a non-threatening way. When it comes to playtime biting, you do not want to reinforce this playtime biting, so you don't want to encourage it and partake in it, otherwise it will keep happening. If you react to play biting, your parrot will think that biting is the way they play with you and they will continue to do it. Instead, give your bird a toy and try not to let them bite you for too long. Once you notice that they're trying to get your attention by biting you, stop playing with them or leave the room. This way they'll learn that you only play when you're using toys. Do not ever punish your parrot. Punishment does not work with birds. It will only work against your relationship with your bird. One common way that people punish their birds is by putting them back into their aviary or their little birdie condos, and that is possibly the worst thing that you could do. Their aviary should be a place where they want to be, with toys for entertainment, good food and clean water, and lots of fun activities. Once your pet views the cage or aviary as a place of punishment, it will naturally fight you when you want to put them back in there. During hormonal seasons, avoid things like cuddle huts and even covering your bird's cage, but instead just providing a dark, quiet room. Feed whole foods and a nutritionally balanced diet. Give your bird space during this time and avoid mushy, warm foods. Do not cuddle or kiss or touch any part of them other than their head and provide more foraging opportunities. We never want to trigger them or their hormones like petting their wings or back because this will cause them to flare. There. Try stick training using a chopstick, a clicker, and some treats is all you need. Training a bird to step up on a stick or a perch is referred to as stick training. It's the recommended alternative to training a bird that's not able to be handled first. It's a less invasive approach and easier for a bird that is fearful. Every time your bird steps up on the stick, you quickly reward it in the form of a favorite treat and or praise. Clicker training and treats communicate to your bird exactly what behavior you want to see more of. When you get into the habit of being more mindful about what you're reinforcing, you inherently stop reinforcing the behaviors that you don't want to see anymore. Keep a flexible routine. Change it up and be flexible with your daily routines that involve your bird on a daily basis. It will help the bird better tolerate change and understand that things won't always happen in a particular order at a certain time. You don't want to be predictable.
For example, if you get home from work every day and you immediately let your bird out, one day if you don't do it or you're late because you had to go somewhere after work or you were working late, then your bird might lash out and be aggressive towards you because they got upset or annoyed because the routine wasn't what they're used to. Exercise, let them have time each day to roam and fly around and exercise and get their energy out. Make sure that they have a nice roomy cage so while they're in there, they're also able to climb, explore, exercise and spread their wings. Toys, make sure that your bird has loads of toys, whether it's in their aviary or their jungle gyms around your home, Toys are a great form of mental stimulation to avoid boredom and get all of their energy out. And don't forget to rotate their toys every week so that they don't get bored. And the last tip is getting professional help. If you've put in the necessary effort and you've tried all of these tips and it's still not working and your bird is still behaving aggressively and biting, then maybe it's time to seek some professional help from a parrot trainer and your avian vet. Pay attention to your parrot's body language because their body language is going to give you those early warning signs. Frightened birds will flatten their feathers and widen their eyes. Angry birds may hiss, they fluff their feathers of their head and neck to appear bigger, and they will sway or lunge. So that's it for today, guys. We hope that this video is helpful for you and stops the aggressive behavior and biting. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.